prologue. He followeth the prologue of Clerk's Tale of Oxenford. Sire Clerk of Oxenford, a host said, Ye ride as coy and still as doeth a maidy, where no spouse singeth as a bird. This day me heard I of your tongue a word. I trow ye study about some sophim, but Solomon seeth everything hath uh, time. For goodness sake, at best as better cheers, is no time for the studying here. Tell us some merry tale by your fay. But what for what man that is entered in the plea, he needeth wood into the play assent, but preacheth that as friars doon and lent to make us our uh, old scenes weep, nee that thy tale makes us not to sleep. Uh, tell us some merry thing of adventures, these terms, these colours, and these figures, keep him in store till so be ye and dight, height still, as what that men to king's right, speaketh so plain at this time, ye would pry that ye may understood what ye say. Um, <clears throat> this worthy clerk benignly answered, Ye hoist, ye quod he, I am under your yurd, ye hand of us as now the governance. And therefore will I do your obedience as far as resume access, access hardly. I will ye tell a tale which I learned at Podi as a worthy clerk, approved by his words and his work. He is now dead and nailed in his chest. I am a, a, a prayed to God, so leave his soul rest. Fonsius pretake the lurid poet. Might he this clerk, who we thought it like sweetie, illuminated in the tale of poetry, as Linnean died of philosophy? O oh, Lord! O other art particular, be dear that whole nat sufferer us dwell here, but as it were a twinkling of an a ye, him both hath slain, and all shall we die. But forth to tellin' of this worthy man they taught me this tale as I began, I see that first with height still he endeth, ere his bed, his body, and his tail writeth, a proheem in which describeth this he premund and sodis uh, country, and speaketh of Alpine and the hills high, that the bounds of West Lubbardy and of Mount Vicious is special, where as the poor art or a wheel small taketh his first springing in his sours, that eastward as as crestus is his cause, is in wood to fara and yinis, in which a long thing were to divis, and truly so to my juggament. Methinketh this thing impertinent, save that it, the whole covenant is matter, but this is tale which that ye may hear. And that's the prologue of the clerk, uh, written by, uh, I think, Chaucer. Yes, Chaucer, the man who wrote the Canterbury Tales. Uh, 
that's this prologue. And, and if you would like, I will continue later.